North Korea tried to launch a missile on its east coast and failed. This latest provocation comes a day after the reclusive state paraded their weapons during the grand scale celebrations of its founder's birthday. Kim Jong Il starts us off with the expected but ill advised move by the regime, possibly designed to send a message to the unpredictable Donald Trump administration. According to the U.S. Pacific Command, the missile launched by North Korea from its eastern port city of Shimpo blew up almost immediately. South Korea's Joint Chiefs of Staff also said the missile is believed to have failed, adding that the type of missile was being analyzed. South Korea's foreign ministry strongly condemned the launch. It's the fifth time this year that North Korea has fired ballistic missiles. This is another clear violation of UN Security Council resolutions. We strongly condemn the launch as a threat to Korea and the international community. Cho warned that Pyongyang could face serious punitive measures if it continues to conduct nuclear tests and other strategic provocations. The head of South Korea's National Security Office, Kim Guan Jin, convened a meeting of the National Security Council in which officials decided to respond strongly to additional North Korean provocations. U.S. President Donald Trump has been briefed about the situation but has not yet commented. The Japanese government has said today's launch did not directly affect their security. Pyongyang's missile launch attempt comes amid rising tensions with the U.S., which is sending an aircraft carrier strike group to the Korean Peninsula to deter potential North Korean provocations. The regime's last missile launch came less than two weeks ago on April 5th, and that was a medium-range KN-15 ballistic missile. Experts say North Korean leader Kim Jong-un could also push the button on its sixth nuclear test at any time, having launched more missiles compared to his father and grandfather combined. Kim Young-get, Arirang News.